Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your Samsung <clears throat> Galaxy S4 on a Mac OS X or Linux Ubuntu device or computer, I mean. Um, so this will work on any Qualcomm uh, Qualcomm Galaxy S4, just keep that in mind. Um, this will not work on the octa-core Galaxy S4. This will work on any quad-core Galaxy S4 Qualcomm. Just keep that in mind. Please do not try this on a quad-core. The least, the worst thing that could possibly happen is that it just doesn't work. But don't try it. You're going to waste your time. It's not going to break your phone if you do try it. Uh, but it's not going to work. So please don't complain if it doesn't work. Because I said it, it won't work for octa-core Galaxy S4. Only quad-core Galaxy S4 running on Qualcomm. So right now I'm going to go into settings. Go into more and show you I'm running on Jelly Bean. So about device. And I'm running on the latest version of Jelly Bean and version 4.2.2 right there. Um, so to actually start this up, go and tap on build number about 10 times. So keep tapping on it and boom, it, now it said uh, you are not a developer if you saw that very quickly. Um, so go and go back and now you have developer options right there. So tap on that. Turn it on, make sure it is turned on and turn on USB debugging right there and tap OK. And now go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB and we're going, we're going to go ahead and head down to our Mac device or Mac computer, I'm sorry. And like I mentioned earlier, this will work for both Mac OS X and Ubuntu slash Linux computer. Let's go. All right, so you can see I do have a folder called Moto Chopper. It is on my desktop, as you can see, my desktop right here. So make sure this folder is on your desktop, or if you do deal with Terminal, you'll be fine wherever it is. Uh, but make sure it's on desktop if, you don't, if you're not very familiar with Terminal and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and search it um, right here on the top corner right there. I'm going to go and search Terminal. So search right there, Terminal, Enter, and boom, there you have Terminal. Let me go and zoom in and <clears throat> show you what you have to do. So right here, here we are. So first thing we're doing is typing CD desktop because that is where our folder is. Desktop, enter, then CD Moto Chopper because that is what folder we want. Enter. Okay, so now we're going to go and type in chmod space 755 space asterisk or a little star sign right there. Enter. And now we're going to type in sudo space sh dot or sh space run dot sh run sh sorry about that space enter so it should look just like that and um what sudo does it kind of gives you admin access for your mac or ubuntu linux device um so make sure your uh, mac computer make sure your mac computer has a password on it or this won't work um if you don't want to put a password on you can try without using sudo and it might work but if you do run into problems make sure you do put in sudo and make sure your mac computer or linux computer does have um, a password on there so i'm gonna go and put in my password and uh, it won't show up, just type it in and you'll be fine. So I put it in, I'm gonna press enter, and there we go. So let me show you right there, let me go move that just a little bit. And as you can see, a motor chop right there, and a root exploit, Linux OS X version. So I'm gonna zoom out now, or a little, just a little bit, and move that to the side. And let me uh, show you my phone that it is plugged in, and I'll show you it um, right here. So let's move that right there, and put that right there. So it says press enter to root your phone. So I'm gonna go and do that right there. And I'm gonna make sure your screen is turned on just in case it helps. Okay, and press enter. And now it says um, uh, computer RSA key. Go and press okay on your computer or on your phone. And then it'll say pushing and it'll actually do your whole thing. So it'll just take a few seconds, like literally a few seconds and you'll be fine. All right, so it is done. It says exploit complete. Press enter to reboot and exit. So press enter. And now your phone is going to reboot, and you're going to have super user once it does finish rebooting. So just give it a few seconds, and it vibrated, and here we go, it's going to reboot. There you go, so I'm going to be right back after it does finish rebooting. Alright, so my phone has finished rebooting, and now let's go and look for a super user, which should have been installed with that reboot. Um, so it should be here, right, right there, so you got super user app right there. And just to confirm that I do have root access on my Galaxy S4 Qualcomm device. This is a T-Mobile variant, but this will work on any variant um, for US and uh, running on Qualcomm Quad Core. I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi and install Titanium Backup, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went in and installed it. So let me go and open it. I should get SU um, permissions. So it says Super User Request. I'm going to go uh, Remember Choice Forever and Allow. And now I should, it should be working. Let's go and see if it's working. All done. 
okay and okay right there okay and now it says root access right there okay tap for more info so now you have root access on your galaxy s4 device um this was the method <clears throat> for uh, mac os x and linux and all that um if you don't want a windows guide on how to root it um your galaxy s4 running on uh, qualcomm quad core um i have an annotation right up there once i do have the guide ready and available i have it right up in there in the corner right there um, but that is how you do it. Super, super simple to do. Very, very easy. Just about anyone can do it. <laughs> Probably even your grandma can do it. <laughs> that's how easy it was. Um, but that's about it, guys. Uh, links down below for the actual files and step-by-step -step guide. So go and click on the links down below. Well, actually, one link down below. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, if this guide did work for you, um, hit that like button and consider subscribing in the bottom left-hand corner as that does really, really help me out a lot. It shows me that you support me. You want to see more of these rooting videos and be uh, sure to subscribe because you're going to be seeing custom ROM reviews for Galaxy S4 uh, coming out very soon. Probably even within a week or two, you're going to see ROM reviews, uh, which is going to be really nice. Can't wait to do more videos on Galaxy S4. And don't forget to follow me, like me, and add me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. All three social networks are down below, and link to the step-by-step -step guide and files are down below as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.